right, we'll let it go a few seconds here before we get started. Another surprise live stream. I'm actually uploading files right now from three different videos that I just got done doing. So good morning, everybody who's tuned in. I'm going to do a really quick uh, live stream here. Just wanted to cover this subject because it's a um, some big things are coming up here in our local area, which I'll get into um, about this whole thing. So um, let me get into it. The issue of electric vehicles. Okay, are they good? Are they bad? Whatever else. Well, there's some very wicked things attached to them. The general uh, concept of it is seems like a good thing on the surface, but um, there's some problems. Okay, you have all this. I'm just I have a bunch of pictures of electric vehicles up here, but uh, just to go through some of this. Um, <clears throat> problem number one I have: the electric vehicle is supposedly really good for the environment green technology and everything else zero carbon emissions but uh i don't think that looks like zero carbon emissions to me these electric buses bursting into flames and they you know and they burn and burn and when you're dealing with lithium you can't just take a fire truck over and put it out and just you know and it, a lot of times if they just douse it with water it will go out and then it'll it'll relight again you can look into this do your own uh, study into it um but they burn like crazy gas cars you can put fire out um i've had vehicle fires before where you know carburetors something goes wrong and, it, and some fire comes out of it you spray in too much starter fluid and, and it gets on fire and you just put it out you can take a take your shirt off or something and an old t-shirt and whack the fire and the flames go out you're not doing that with electric vehicles so you know i understand they don't all burst into flames, but when they do, you know, I think that's increasing the carbon footprint right there. Uh, not really good for the environment. And there's some other issues, too, about this whole thing with the batteries. We'll get back into that here in just a minute. But um, here you have family honors Utah man killed in motorcycle accident. Um, basically, you go down through here and uh, it says here. Um, Utah Highway Patrol says the accident happened early Sunday on southbound I-15. Landon was traveling southbound in the area of 15,000 S when a Tesla collided with the back of his motorcycle. UH, UHP says the driver told them the Tesla was on autopilot when the crash happened. Due to Tesla's high-tech features, UHP, UHP says there's a lot of evidence to collect and that the incident is still under investigation. Um, you absolutely absolutely still have to fully and stay fully engaged and connected when you're vehicle when you're in that vehicle said jelaine hawks a lieutenant with utah highway patrol it changes nothing for the driver the driver still has to pay attention to everything around them and there has been countless times of these electric vehicles they just go off the road they're slamming into the same spots because they put them on autopilot terrible idea absolutely terrible idea okay um, very much against that. Another thing I'm against is the fact that these things are so far out of the reach of common people. Oh, you know, California just passed this thing that all um, all vehicles in California, I think by 2030 or something, you know, agenda 2030, all vehicles have to be electric by then. Uh, well, how does that work for people? How are you going to afford a $120,000 car for the most expensive one there, the Model X, and $47,000? I mean, all of my vehicles combined probably aren't worth forty-seven thousand dollars. <laughs> uh, it's crazy. You know, you have to be better for the environment by spending a huge amount of money. But uh, the thing that's coming up here recently, which really has me very irritated, something that all these people with their high ideals and everything else, oh, I drive an electric vehicle. I'm good for the environment. Well, uh, where do the materials come from to to build your batteries let me show you Pickett mountain maine very close to where i'm at right now here in Patton, maine um you can see the beauty of the area this is to the north of us here i'll show you just in a couple minutes here but beautiful area up here and <clears throat> wolfton resources is a mining company from canada and they want to come in and basically rape the land 
um, and get the metals out. They've already done some test drilling right there. You can see the test drilling, but there's their map of what they're thinking is going to be in the ground. And they are marketing it for electric vehicles, the batteries and everything else. So they want to mine a pristine wilderness area to get the metals and the minerals to create vehicles which are good for the environment. So you destroy the environment to save the environment, apparently. See, that's a problem. If you have some way of making electric vehicles that would be good for the environment, you can get, you know, make batteries out of renewable resources like trees or something like that. Well, okay. You know, or maybe some kind of little internal combustion thing that burns garbage or something, you know. Well, that might be something that would be good. But that's internal combustion. It would make exhaust. Oh, we can't have that. See, it's ridiculous, but this is something I'm very irritated about, and I did this video a while back. <clears throat> it's over on the Rumble page. <clears throat> Excuse me. I just did three sermons, so my voice is a little bit hoarse, and my brain's a little jumbled, so I'm not reading correctly, so sorry about that, but um, I did this video back on September 3rd, 2021, actually almost a year ago to the day, kind of an interesting thing. And um, it's all about Wolfton, and it shows some of the clips of the president of Wolfton, uh, Ron Little, and how he's saying we could do this whole mining thing cheap as chips, and we can get in there quick and dirty and make it happen fast and whatever, and we are eventually would like to have an open pit mine. Um, absolutely terrible uh, what they're planning. And they were voted down, but they're still... They just basically came out and said not long ago that it was merely a speed bump and that they're trying very hard to get back in now. And just literally Tuesday night, what, two nights ago or something, uh, Jeremy Ouellette, the spokesman for Wolfton, was over at the town hall here in Patton promoting the whole thing again. So um, it's just insane. And they want to do not only here, Pickett Mountain to the north of us, but they also want to do south of us down in down near the coast, I think, down East Maine. Um, it's just terrible, absolutely terrible what they want to do. And um, again, if you don't understand here, here we have the Guardian, which I know that there's issues with the Guardian. But the whole thing is toxic mine spill was only latest in long history of Chinese pollution. Uh, where are they getting the batteries for these these uh, Tesla cars and all these? Oh, wow, look at them. They're so neat and everything. Where are they getting the batteries from? They're getting them from China. And China's destroying their own environment. You can read the article. I won't go through the article. But they're they're destroying their own country, their own environment, to get the edge on electric vehicles. And China's the biggest polluter in the world right now. But yet the green you know, agenda and whatever else, they think very highly of China. You know, it, the whole thing is just total hypocrisy. And it really ticks me off. Because, you know, you have all these people, oh, we're, we're for electric vehicles. We want to lower our carbon footprint. But the cost of it is just absolutely terrible. And quite frankly, it's going to ruin the area where I live, which I really don't appreciate. You say, how close is it? Well, right here you have the town of Patton. You zoom in a little bit here. Right here is the town of Patton. And by the way, um, this coming Thursday, uh, not today, but a week from today, the 8th of September, um, there's going to be a, a meeting of tribal elders from the local Indian tribes around, the native people, the Penobscot Nation and things like that. They're going to be at this meeting, also concerned residents. I'm going to be there, the National Resource or Natural Resource Council of Maine, I think is what it is, NRCM. Um, sorry if I got that wrong, but they're going to also be there speaking here at the Patton Lumberman's Museum. So our office is right along here. I won't bother zooming in and showing it, but um, we're right in this area right here. And so there we are. That's where I'm sitting right now. And if you just head north through Hersey, basically you get up into here and the um right up in here the rocket lake thing this is the 
basic area of the that you're seeing Pickett Mountain right there. So not that far away from me. And uh, my land that we own is even closer. I'm not going to show that on, you know, video here and whatever, just for privacy sake. But um, it's pretty close here to here is how close I am to this whole thing. So when I see all the people that are saying, oh, this is so great. All the people in California, oh, we're going to get electric vehicles. We're going to be saving the environment. No, you're going to be destroying the environment. You know, my backyard, essentially. And, you know, this whole thing of the toxic mine spill, too. I mean, look at that. And it spilled. And you say, oh, well, that, well, they'll contain it. Wolfton, even though they have no experience at all with mining, they'll be good. They'll, they'll contain it. Don't worry. Everything will be fine. Um, and yet what they're saying is, if you actually look at some of the videos that they're putting out, they're saying that the tailings, which is basically the, they put chemicals in to remove the metals, the precious metals from the dirt and whatever else. And that what's left, the toxic dirt, essentially, they're going to be making a big pond of it up in that area on that land. And don't worry, we're putting plastic down and other things down to keep it out of the aquifer. Don't worry, everything will be safe. Okay, even if they could do that, which I don't believe they can, but even if they could, um, you have a problem because how are you going to keep animals out of, you know, a bird from flying over landing in that tail tailings facility, you know, or bugs or whatever else. I mean, you know, dragonflies or butterflies or you know, a moose, a deer, name the animal, the, you know, the anything, wild turkeys or grouse or whatever. How are you going to keep this stuff out of there? It just, it's insane that this whole thing's going on. So I just want to show people the, this whole thing. Please watch my video. Um, you can go over there to the Rumble channel and look up, will Maine be destroyed by underground mining? You can actually see the president of Wolfton. Um, so um, and I, I kind of figured that this whole thing would happen because as people get more desperate for money, I'm seeing, you know, local businesses here that were once against it. Now they're coming out and saying, well, you know, if we have to deal with some toxic runoff, you know, we've gotten used to that with, you know, dealing with Irving, the big logging and, you know, thing up here. And, um, uh, you know, I guess maybe we could get used to it and think, yeah, they want the money is what they want. Love of money is the root of all evil. Um, so. You know, our job as Christians down here, brethren, until the Lord takes us home, he who now letteth will let until he be taken out of the way. Let means hinder. It's the Bible word for hinder. In tennis, you hit the ball, it hits the net, they say let. Okay, so we're supposed to stop. We're supposed to hinder. We're supposed to come out and speak against wicked things like this. And quite frankly, you know, I mean, if I said to you, um, you know, I like to wear clothes that are made in sweat, you know, labor facilities. And I want to make sure that they're made by little children that have been taken out of their parents' homes. You would, you wouldn't look and say, Oh, that's good. That's a good thing. You look and say, well, that's terrible. Why would you be that way? That's, that's an awful thing. Well, if you're driving a electric vehicle, then either you're going to be getting your batteries, you know, from China, or you're going to be getting them from my backyard or some other place where they're raping the ground, just destroying nature and putting toxic chemicals down in there to separate the metals and the dirt and the clay or whatever you want to say and then they poison the area you know and it goes from you know looking like that right there beautiful pristine wilderness to looking like this also that you can drive that <laughs> you know i mean insane and if it catches on fire, then, you know, like I showed earlier, then you have this. Lowering your carbon footprint there. So just wanted to make a quick video, or vehicle, video about that. I've been wanting to just come out and say something about it because it's really ticking me off. And as I thought, I already talked to a, a native man that has an off-grid cabin in the area here. We talked to one day. and. Um, and I was telling him you know, about the Wolfton thing. And he said, well, that's, that isn't around anymore. Is it? I thought that's done, that they were defeated and they didn't get their permit to do the drilling and all the mining and all this stuff. And I said, no, they're still planning it and they are still planning it. So, 
we'll see what happens with the meeting on a week from today. Um, so I don't know. I reached out to the the guy from the NRCM, I think is what it is. And um, he said that he's looking forward to meeting me and he, he really appreciated what I wrote uh, against Wolfton and the thing that you could, you know, you could basically write to the planning commission, land use planning commission. And he appreciated what I said and he was wondering if I could, you know, condense it down to make it as a letter to the editor for the Bangor Daily News, which I might do. I'm not sure about that. A lot going today, but it just is, you know, really disgusting. And of course, the whole electric vehicle thing, um, how much infrastructure do they have to redesign to put in these electric, you know, pumps here, these the electric power stations and things. And, you know, I mean, it's insane. It's the whole system is designed to fail. And quite frankly, it's a lot easier to surveillance what you're doing with these electric vehicles and to shut them off if you're being a bad little citizen. So that's why I think we all need to stand against this and just simply say, absolutely not, not happening. No way. We will not comply with this. Um, so um, we need to be very vocal about this and about central bank digital currencies is another big thing that we should be fighting against. Um, so yeah, stupid electric vehicles. Um, and just point out the hypocrisy. Any you meet anybody with an electric vehicle and just say, hey, are you even aware of where your batteries came from? <laughs> Do you even understand how toxic those batteries are? How they're raping nature and destroying nature so that you can have your little electric vehicle? Are you even aware of that? Show them this video. Send them links to this video. Send them links to my video over on uh, Rumble. Will Maine be destroyed by underground mining? They're planning it. They want to. They want to destroy this area. So uh, that's going to be it for this video. Just thought I'd pop in here real quick. I'll do a more organized live stream sometime in the future on on a other subject or whatever else, um, and you know, open it up to questions and answers. But I just I'm actually uploading the files from my sermons I just did uh, for this weekend. So um, yeah. Um, you know, going to probably be doing a rant video in the future at some point in time about how liberals are moving forward as conservatives are making excuses for them. And there's a lot of truth to that. Um, the liberals are just pushing their agenda and it, it's not even common sense stuff. And conservative people were conservative. We want to work and we want to just be left alone and do our thing and whatever else. Um, it's not, we need to fight. We need to fight and we need to just say, no, enough is enough. You people are mentally ill with all your personal pronouns. I don't call me these certain pronouns. Shut up. Okay. Shut up. You know, God has our side. God is on our side. He's not on their side. Uh, you want to tell me I can't drive my gas vehicle or whatever else. You're an idiot. Okay. Gas vehicles are far better for the environment than these electric vehicles. These things are wicked. They're terrible, right? And you're not going to force me to have a $120,000 car or something that's bad for the environment. You know, oh, I guess I can't go out into nature anymore because there's no charging stations there. You know, I mean, how are you going to go out into a really far back in wilderness area, like the kind of places we like to go to, um, to do filming of videos sometimes and whatever else? How are you going back in there with an electric vehicle? It's not happening, okay? And especially in the in the north like this, Battery power really is diminished in the winter time. It's stupid. You know, so you liberals out there, you're going to hell. Okay. Plain and simple. You want to leave us alone and things, do your little liberal lunacy and whatever else. Fine. I don't care. I'm not going to come and try to try to control your life or whatever else. But don't put your stupid beliefs over on us. We're not going to submit to them. So that's going to be it. Um more angry rants coming in the future. Uh, so um, thank you to everybody out there for watching and um, look forward to this weekend. The studies are going to be the cursed uh, generation of the Antichrist. Then there's one I did about um, atheists. Uh, 
and how that, you know, oftentimes when they discover Satan, then they actually discover God as a result of that, because they realize if Satan is real, then that means God is real. So sermon on that. And then also the thing of the joy of being narrow minded. So <laughs> some interesting ones coming up, but I have to get going because we have to get to our property. We have a bunch of things to do there today. Um, but just, uh, yeah. So, and, you know, I just want to say this in closing too, to anybody out there that's a greenie. Um, I live far better for the environment than most of you do out there. Um, our monthly expenditures for electricity are usually well under $100, usually under $60, our total electric bill. So um, live off grid, composting, toilet, um, no running water, tiny home, the whole thing. Um, so don't talk to me about being bad for the environment. I could run circles around you, <laughs> just to be quite frank. So. Uh, that's going to be it, and we'll see you in upcoming videos. Thank you very much for watching.